China's 800 million forest project will shock the world. China is currently working on the 800 million forest project. The project, which is considered one of the largest afforestation projects in the world, will shock the economists with its scale and potential impact. Let's know more. In today's episode, you are going to be amazed by China's amazing solution to the recurrent sandstorms. One of the largest projects. China is known as the most successful country in desert control in the world. And in 60 years, they planted 800 million trees in the desert. I don't think any country is willing to do this, nor does it have the patience to persist. American sand control experts once believed that China will control the desert through national finance and that it will not succeed if there is no profit to recycle. Therefore, why is China ready to do this? And how many of the 800 million trees that have been planted in China are still alive? The vast majority of China's deserts are located in the northwest portion of the country, such as Xinjiang, Inner Mongolia, Gansu, and Ningjia. The deserts in China have an area of 2.62 million square kilometers, which is equivalent to 20% of the country's total land area, and this is taken care of by the Chinese government. Aim of this project This 800 million Mu Forest project is a reforestation project undertaken by the government of China. The project, which began in 1978, aims to increase the country's forested land by 800 million mu, which is approximately 53 million hectares, or 130 million acres. The project has been successful in increasing China's forest coverage, and as of 2019, the country's forest coverage had reached 22.96%, an increase of 2.24% compared to the forest coverage in 1978. The project also helps to improve the environment, protect biodiversity, and combat desertification and soil erosion. Why were the initiatives not taken before? When quicksand erodes people's land and farmland, all that humans can do is relocate. In the early 1950s, China was still struggling to solve the problem of food and clothing, and there was no money to invest in desert control. The Sahara Desert has an impact not just on countries in Africa and Egypt, but also on those in the Middle East. When spring dust storms hit, Egypt's capital city of Cairo, along with Alexandria and other cities, will take the brunt of the damage. In extreme circumstances, flights will be cancelled and ports will be blocked, causing a great deal of discomfort for inhabitants as well as those who rely on transportation. The United States of America is also a victim of the desert. The recurrent sandstorms are caused by the combination of strong winds and a lack of vegetation, which allows sand and other sediment to be easily picked up and blown around. Sandstorms are a major environmental and health concern in China, as they can cause damage to infrastructure and buildings, reduce visibility on roads and highways, and lead to respiratory problems for people who are exposed to the dust. Measures to Control The government of China has implemented various measures to address the problem of sandstorms, such as afforestation and reforestation projects to increase vegetation cover, desertification control measures, and regulations on industrial and agricultural activities that contribute to land degradation. One such measure followed by China was planting a big number of trees in the desert. In just a few decades, the country planted 800 million trees. One of the most important initiatives for sand control in China is the construction of the Three North Shelter Belt. Every year, an area of forest is added through tree planting that is comparable to more than half of South Korea's Three North Shelter Belts. In Taklamakan Desert, you may observe a lot of Populus euphratica. This plant is known as the undead tree because of its endurance to drought and resilience to extreme temperatures. This plant is less dependent on water and can protect against wind and fixed sand while also improving the soil. The main route can reach a depth of 10 meters underground. 
while the lateral route can stretch as far as 30 meters. It plays a significant part in making a desert green. Drilling wells close to desert areas and constructing desert reservoirs are two projects that are without a doubt considered miracle projects in China for the purpose of resolving the issue of inadequate water supply in desert areas in order to prevent sandstorms as they are causing the major destruction. This took place through a program put forward by the Chinese government of planting 800 million forests. The 800 million Mu Forest Project is a reforestation project undertaken by the government of China. Means to implement the project The project was implemented through a variety of means, such as afforestation, reforestation, and artificial regeneration, promoting the natural regeneration of forests. The government also provided subsidies and other incentives for farmers and herders to plant trees on their land and to protect existing forests. The project has had a positive impact on China's environment and economy. The forests help to conserve soil and water, improve air and water quality, provide habitat for wildlife, and create opportunities for ecotourism. Additionally, the forests also play an important role in carbon sequestration, which helps to combat climate change. The forests also helped to increase the amount of timber available for the construction and furniture industry. However, it's also important to note that the project is not without its challenges. Some of the challenges faced by the project include maintaining the health and productivity of the forests over time, dealing with pests and diseases, addressing conflicting interests among different stakeholders, and balancing the competing demands of economic development and environmental protection. This is not the only measure. China also carried out large-scale sand prevention and control initiatives. As people in China discovered an underground river with a sufficient water source beneath the Taklamakan Desert, however, mining water sources in the desert is not a good thing to do and it is extremely difficult to do so. As a result, the water source for planting trees in the desert can only be diverted from the upper river, where the melted water of glaciers and snow gathers in the summer, and it is obtained by drilling wells. Moreover, China also constructed a reservoir with a capacity of 148 million cubic meters. It took nearly 40 years to build the reservoir, and once it was finished, the reservoir not only irrigated more than 600,000 mu of farmland for local farmers, but it also provided water for the two deserts that were located next to the reservoir. Installation of Solar Power Stations China has also incorporated other measures to control the desert, including the installation of the world's first solar-powered stations in the desert to cultivate green plants. By blocking the sun's rays, photovoltaic panels have the potential to significantly cut down on the amount of surface water that is lost to evaporation. The shade impact of photovoltaic panels can minimize evaporation by up to 20 to 30 percent. And the photovoltaic module board can also effectively lower the wind speed. This can improve the living environment of the plants very significantly. 7. Combating Dust and Storm China has been actively working to combat dust and sandstorms, as these weather phenomena can have significant negative impacts on the environment, public health, and the economy. Planting trees and other vegetation can help to stabilize sand dunes and prevent wind erosion. China has been working to expand its forests through initiatives such as the Green Great Wall Project, which aims to plant 100 billion trees by 2050. Measures such as terracing, contour plowing, and the use of cover crops can help to prevent soil erosion and reduce the amount of dust and sand that is picked up by the wind. Increasing the amount of water available in desert and semi-desert regions can help to reduce dust storms. This can be achieved through irrigation and the construction of dams and reservoirs. Changing the way land is used can help to reduce the amount of dust and sand that is picked up by the wind. This includes reducing overgrazing and converting cropland to forests and grasslands. 
planting species that are capable of fixing sand and reducing wind erosion, constructing windbreak using different materials such as woods, stones, and concrete blocks to reduce wind speed and the amount of sand and dust that is picked up by the wind. Dust and sandstorms are closely related to air pollution. By implementing stricter emission standards, promoting the use of clean energy, and encouraging the use of electric vehicles, China is working to reduce the amount of dust and sandstorms. China has been working to raise awareness about the causes and impacts of dust and sandstorms and to educate the public about how they can help to reduce these weather phenomena. These measures have been successful in reducing the number of sandstorms and dust storms in some regions of China. But it's a complex and ongoing problem as it requires coordination and cooperation of multiple sectors and stakeholders. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.